All right, guys, this is a quick update on what I've done so far. Um, as of now, this is how the setup is going to be with the track plan that I've just put down. Um, I was able to use the Juro curve switch, and that son of a gun works great. It is a great establishment for this whole branch here. It, it makes things a little bit easier on using the switches. Um, the way this is going to go is the train will come in on this pocket track or the siding, which one of you, whatever you want to call it. It'll come in here, it'll uncouple, do a run around, or it can go up to the uh, engine facility that I'm going to put in here. I'm still debating on whether or not to put one in here. And then the work crew, which will be sitting somewhere over here on the siding, or one of the spurs, will then come in, grab the cars from this end, classify the cars that they need for switching keep the other ones inside this pocket track and then begin switching these three plants plus that plant and the depot over there the depot will stay over there where it's at so once the train is done it will come set the train back in the siding and then the outbound train which it will be that engine or whatever will come in, classify the train accordingly to the outbound, and then take it out. Now, this track can hold up to 10, maybe 11 cars, which is more than plenty of track space for switching. Uh, I had the little split in the, in the middle on the first one. I'm still debating on whether to put that run around on here so that I can have more space to put the outbound up there. I just thought about that as I was talking to y'all and I might put that crossover in but as of right now I'm pretty satisfied for what I got now. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. And plus that'll give me more track space for more switching to do the switching up there as well like I did before in the other previous uh, layout with the uh, double split so we'll see I'll figure it out uh, sometime later on this week whether I'm going to do that or not so that's that on the update over here now over here since we got all the yards and everything done, this switch here is going to be part of the uh, line that's going into the wash rack and to the holding facility for the engines. Um, the outbound engines and the inbound engines will come over here to this facility. and. Uh, I'm uh, still debating on how I'm going to do that. That's the reason why I haven't touched it yet. Because I have a lot of space over there uh, for that. And then I got to put that switch in for the depot when I take this track all the way around over there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it on that. So, so that is pretty much the update for now. Um, slow process I'm taking my time been doing this for a week now and uh, a week and a day so like I said taking my own sweet time with it trying to figure it out get it right make sure there's no issues but um, that Jero switch I need two more of those babies that would take care of a lot of track space for the switches on the curves by just having that you'd be surprised if I had another one of those I could put it in the yard and come off with the curve switches in the yard that would be awesome anyway 
I gotta get to bed because I gotta get to work get to work in the morning and uh, we will do this again tomorrow so until then I hope y'all enjoyed this update um, still a lot of work to do besides the trees and the other scenery it will be on here so until then y'all take care thank you for watching bye